Today I'll be showing you how to take this drift car from Biff Arcade Vehicle Physics Pro available on the Unity Asset Store and setting it up with your own vehicle model. For this tutorial I'll be using vehicles and the demo scene from the Toon Racing Pack from 6 games and this is the end result. I've imported both the Biff's Arcade Vehicle Physics Pro and Toon Racing and the other thing you'll need to import is the Cinema Machine Pack from the Unity Registry. Before we get started making our vehicle in the scene that we want to use we just set up a camera and then on that camera we just add a Cinema Machine brain. Once that's ready to go, then decide what reference vehicle you want to use from the Reference Cars folder from the Biff Arcade Vehicle Physics Pro Pack. That's a bit of a mouthful. So for me, I'll be using the Drifty Car. We'll drag that in, and we'll unpack the prefab, and then name it whatever you want to name. Yours, mine will just be Black Drifter. Then we just want to look for the vehicle that we want to use. In my case, I will go with the Black Rally Car here. And again, we'll unpack the prefab. Now for the main mesh collider for your vehicle, we'll make sure it's convex. And for the material, we'll set it to zero friction. For this vehicle, the front skirt and the spoiler, we'll set both of those to zero friction. So looking at our two vehicles, we have our preset and our new vehicle. Under our preset, we have the game object with the car model. So this is where we want to drag our new one under. And then we can delete the old one. And for that game object that we've just moved, we'll reset the transform. Naming conventions and the order can differ depending on what vehicle you're using. So this is the order we want them in here. So we will just drag them up just so they all match. The next thing we want to do is change the wheel meshes for our vehicle. So if we open up the wheels and the wheel handlers, you can see the wheel meshes here. So this is where we want to match everything up. So if we look at the rear left tire, click on our mesh, take note of which mesh that is. For the wheel, drag in the mesh. And we'll do that for all of these. So the rear right, again, take note of what mesh that is. And if we head to the back right, then we'll go ahead and do that for the two front tires. We also want to change the material of those tires. So if we just look where our material was located, take note of which material that is, select all of our wheels, drag in our material, then we can close up all of the wheels. And we'll select the old wheels for this vehicle and hide them. Now we want to make some adjustments to get these into line for where we want them. We don't want to do this with the wheel game object. We want to do it with the parent game object. Select both the back tires and we'll get them to roughly where we want them. Then the same with the front tires. Get them to where we feel is a nice position. And if we select both the right tires and then the same with the left tires. And then once you're happy with how the new wheels look, then these old ones can just be deleted. You may find your car decides to have a bit of a flip out like this. And the thing that was causing that for me in this case was just the collider that it was attached to the front skirt of my car. Now we'll just take a look at a few of the things that we can tweak. So as you could see, the skid marks were quite thin for these pretty wide tires that we have. So the skid mark width here underneath the car, car controller. If we change that to roughly 0.3, then the skid mark looks a bit more realistic for the size of the tyre. So we'll play around with a few of the settings available to us in the car controller script. We'll do it in play mode just so we can test things out. Obviously any changes we make here won't save, so just make sure if you do anything in play mode that you just copy the component. Then once you stop, you just paste component values or make these changes outside of play mode. So if we drive around, you notice when we take off, it's pretty smooth for the car. So if we wind this down a little bit, the vertical leaning, you can see now when we take off, you get more of a feel of a real powerful car. Same goes for the sideways lean, if we really crank that up. When we go to turn the corners, you notice you get a lot more tilt from the car. The rest of the stuff's pretty self-explanatory, so if we want a much faster car, that maybe doesn't turn quite as well. Pretty easy to tweak. That wraps up the basic setup of the car controller. Everything we've covered with the drifty vehicle, you can also apply to the other vehicle presets if you're after a less drifty vehicle. Overall, it's a pretty cheap pack and is great for prototyping an arcade racer or even using in a final product. If you do want to purchase these packs that we've used in the video, then the links are in the description below, as well as the link to the Discord if you do want to make any suggestions for future content. Hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back again soon with another game dev project.